up the pump fake. In trouble, it's sacked. It's Huntmaker for the second time today. Home for me is Okoma, South Dakota. It's an awesome place to grow up in. We live right on the Missouri River. Grew up boating, fishing, hunting, doing all that stuff all the time. Even as a little kid, he just had huge hands. It's kind of like a puppy. He knew he was just going to end up being big. Our pediatrician said she was worried, um, you know, because as a toddler, he was just pretty big. <laughs> and then now she realizes why, <laughs> so. About seven years old, he wanted to wrestle. So we went out for AAU, little kids wrestling, and you could see it on the wrestling mat that competitive switch would flip. He really did not like to lose. When he was a seventh grader, the coach, John Donovan, talked with me and he said, uh, Joe, what would you think of Nash wrestling varsity heavyweight? And I was a little bit nervous about it because there were some big boys, 285-pound <laughs> kids, and here's a little 220, 25-pound Nash. Joe's like, oh, Nash, I don't know. And I said, no, I, I'm, I'm positive on this one. I, I, he's ready to go. He made the finals of his first varsity tournament in Nebraska with the defending state finalist from Ainsworth. And in the third period, he got caught and pinned. And he was really disappointed. That was the game changer. That was the beginning of everything kind of coming together. There you go. Four years undefeated state champion finished his last two seasons with 72 straight pins. His junior year, he spent less than two minutes on the mat at the state wrestling tournament. State discus champion and shot put champion his sophomore year. USA Today, South Dakota Athlete of the Year, twice. He could cut loose when he would bring that level of violence to the game. And I knew that was going to transfer right to football. Nash was the first player here that I had who graded out at 100%, A-plus, in a game. You must have played very, very well on every play, on every down, every series, for all four quarters. And he did that several times. He finished his senior year ranked number one at heavyweight in the nation. He could have gone anywhere wrestling-wise. We were at a Nebraska game. I could tell Nash was kind of looking around, looking at the crowd. And on the way home from that game, he just said, Dad, I'm going to play football. There's a lot of opportunity for me in football after college. With wrestling, you know, you can wrestle and you go to the Olympics. That's kind of about it. For me, I thought my ceiling was a lot higher in football. Nash Huntmaker, the polar bear, he got home on third and long. Everything here is incredible. It's just very similar people to where I'm from, and that's kind of how I knew it was going to be just like home. When we were at Temple and we were at Baylor, we reserved one through nine. The guys would vote. The nine players they think best represent what it means to be tough, hardworking, dependable. When I got here, zero had come back into college football. And uh, at first I was kind of like, man, I'm, I'm just gonna do one through nine. I don't know about zero. I gotta figure this out in my brain. And when Nash got the vote, they all said, coach, you know he's gonna want zero. I was super honored that the guys voted for me and viewed me like that. He said, the biggest we have is a large, wear it till tomorrow. What? I picked zero just because it kind of makes sense. I'm the nose guard. I'm playing the zero technique most of the time. Having zero, being the big guy in the middle, you know, every time he runs out, he makes a statement. In trouble and a sack. This guy won four straight state wrestling titles. You can see why. Nimble man. Usually guys that wrestle have great body balance. They understand leverage. They train themselves to be in uncomfortable positions and to, you know, reverse things and to get out of blocks. So a lot of times, you know, the things that he do, I can't, I, I can't coach. 
It's just something he's learned from his wrestling background. It just happens to be on a 330 pound guy, which is amazing. Even more so why I love taking football players who wrestled is their whole lives they've walked to the center of a ring and it's just them versus an opponent. They can't blame the play calling, they can't blame the quarterback, they can't blame anything else. And either they win or they lose. And you certainly see that in Nash. Huntmaker gets to the quarterback. My hopes for football is get my shot in the NFL. That's what everyone's working for. That's what everyone wants. And that's uh, definitely been a dream of mine. And just uh, got to keep my head down and keep grinding and hopefully get there one day. Nash should be up for honors both this year and next year. He's a player who should be drafted. I think anytime at the next level you find somebody who has that level of toughness and physicality and athleticism, has a high care factor, I mean, you're dying for those guys. He'll play at the next level and play there for a while.